वेलकम इन दिस एडिशन ऑफ डाउन टू अर्थ वी वुड बी फोकसिंग ऑन सम ऑफ द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक द फर्स्ट इज हाथी मित्र नाउ दिस इज आर्मी ऑफ पीपल हु आर वर्किंग टूगेदर टू सेव एलिफेंट्स फ्रॉम द एलिफेंट ह्यूमन कॉन्फ्लिक्ट विच हैज़ बीन कॉमनली विटनेस्ड इन द रीसेंट ईयर्स इन द रीजन ऑफ छत्तीसगढ़ एंड दीज पीपल हैव बीन ट्रेन बाय द वाइल्ड लाइफ डिपार्टमेंट टू वर्क फॉर दिस इनिशिएटिव एंड ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी द गज यात्रा कैंपेन was one of the major campaigns to start awareness among the local people the next is harnessing water considering a acute shortage in 2050 the world has come up with a publication unconventional water resources and aims to harvest wo- water through various processes for example cloud seeding fog harvesting are some of the processes now it is believed that through seeding itself 15% of the probability of rainfall can be increased micro scale capture of rain water is also recommended in dry areas where 90% of the water gets evaporated and this is another one of the uh, techniques for water con- uh, conservation so all these are unconventional water conservation methods similarly another one is desalinization and this can support at least 5% of the global population the next is adani power group has set up a ultra super critical coal power plant in jharkhand the goda district and that's with an idea to sell power to bangladesh now bangladesh has been suffering from uh, various issues over the time period and this is an initiative to provide a good thrust to the economic activities now the next is the global watch uh, the global wealth inequality uh, and this report has said that in the last 2 years pandemic has led to to uh, uh, around increasing more than uh, the combined wealth of various people and within the last 2 years nearly 573 new billionaires have been generated a lot of energy companies like bp shell uh, total energies exxon and chevron have earn nearly 2600 dollars every second which is a significant amount similarly pharma have created new billionaires the price rise has been uh, seen significantly specifically for the fodder now uh, wheat generates an extensively good fodder but due to uh, food inflation weather events heat waves and uh, lesser returns for wheat crops it was a shift in the crop to mustard and mustard significantly yields 20 to 25% less fodder so the fodder for the animals has significantly reduced and whatever fodder is available has gone expensive so the only option is either to quit the dairy section or to abandon the cattle and it is believed that if this continues the prices for the milk could rise or shoot up up to 80 liters uh, 80 rupees per liter the next is states have banned the export now sirsa in haryana banned the export of fodder due to shortage uh, then we had similar scenes in rohtak fatehabad uh, there were scenes from madhya pradesh which has been witnessed so the wheat loss again we have taken a separate lecture on wheat loss very very important wheat loss was a major issue and heat waves have affected this uh, croppings in the wheat loss uh, significantly specifically for the 2021 rabi crop now uh, if we talk about the another commonly heard disease these days which is monkey pox monkey pox was so far considered as endemic in seven of the countries in africa however recently we have seen cases in uk and world over where monkey pox has significantly spread now the strains of monkey pox appear very very similar to uh, small pox and therefore it said that small pox vaccine is nearly 75 to 85% effective in the case of monkey pox also it is said that many of the nations are now inoculating people with uh, small pox vaccines and many of the countries are stocking up uh, the resources for small pox vaccine in line of the monkey pox also we have witnessed that the first case was identified in the macau colony in denmark the first human case was reported in congo and for a very long time it was endemic only to the regions of africa thereafter in 2022 uh, we witnessed numerous cases across the globe and as you can see here a uh, numerous cases have been witnessed besides the endemic region across the globe the important uh, thing to note here is some of the sint- symptoms are uh, fever muscle ache low uh, energy swollen lump nodes rashes on the skin and lesions now india has this problem because uh, india 
was basically working on the zoonotic uh, viruses and zoonotic diseases and as a curtailment uh, what was believed that uh, this vaccination needs to be strengthened up so what happened was uh, due to the re-emerging viruses buffalo buffalo pox was first isolated in 1934 now india has recorded several outbreaks of buffalo pox over the years and it is believed that buffalo pox was a result of the live inoculation of the buffaloes during the smallpox vaccination trials and that was how it came up now curtailment uh, one of the specific vaccine mvabn and uh, tecovirmat were some of the important diseases uh, uh, medicines which have been uh, used for and who is stockpiling the vaccines some of the reasons for increased how uh, outbreak of such diseases are loss of the habitat of the animals the changes in the climatic conditions illegal wildlife trading and so on uh, we are also on a verge of democratizing the thermal discomfort so himachal pradesh has seen huge number of heat waves similar to rajasthan and madhya pradesh the heat stress has brought a significant environmental consequences urban heat islands are uh the worst affected out of it and it is believed that many of the states experienced around 17 uh, uh heat waves in one month now thermal comfort standard is something which is not a standard definition but it reduces the impact of outdoor conditions on the interior without having the need for air conditioner so uh, if we talk about the building material okay concrete blocks versus the fly ash blocks this is how uh, the replacement can have an impact on to if we talk about the heat waves in 2022 there was a significant rise in the number of heat waves as you can see here energy efficiency is again important so we are building on various revised uh, methods for getting more energy efficient the maximum value of window to wall ratio has been reduced from 60 to 40 and that's in order to control the excessive use of heat trapping glazing surface we are also focusing on better compliant methods super C, uh, ecbc compliant buildings and that is incorporated post occupancy performance okay so those are some of the methods that are taken into account here the next is nivas samhita for residential building 2018 now this is an energy efficiency improvement code in the residential sector which is meant for 5000 square kilometers or larger and has an important impact on the building material now the code calculates how much heat is gained and how much visual light transmit uh, transmittance is possible in the region there are various adaptive thermal comfort methods which are also seen and 80% of the buildings in india are naturally ventilated with mixed modal typology uh, the thermal comfort has following parameters to take into account which mainly talks about uh, the relation with the building parameters the performance characteristics the strategies to address the peak discomfort comfort hours and so on now the topic on conservation this was one of the questions already in your upsc 2022 prelims examination and the idea is what is the definition of hunting as per the wildlife protection act so hunting is defined as capturing immobilizing or trapping the animal that that uh, wounding or killing should only occur if the animal cannot be contained in compliance with the guidelines of the national tiger conservation authority and this is one of the key features that you must be aware about and the tiger killed a man in the tribal area and then another person so hunting of the tiger was issued uh, under section 11 of the wildlife protection act and that was based on a single report that this animal has now become dangerous to human life otherwise it has not been allowed so but it had faced various challenges and that was uh, the rough terrain the poor visibility unfavorable weather conditions uh, no single team was in charge and everyone was uh, moving forward the issue to another uh, team search trips and the uh, field kids were another issues that had to be taken into account the next is himalayan forest spring now this is one of the initiatives which has been done in order to check the land degradation and uh, uh, recharging the rain water the spring water so india's first payment for the ecosystem service agreement uh, is as part of this himalayan forest initiative and the aim is to conserve the forest springs 
there are various incentive based uh, mechanisms and under the mandrega the ground level support system has increased uh, the next is fire explosives now electric vehicles low grade materials are used to cut the cost and therefore uh, testing rules are loosely framed uh, the testing uh, rules are given by the testing uh, reports are given by automotive research association of india and it's believed that even the companies who uh, companies are able to trespass the rules and uh bring the product into the market now electric vehicle has multiple batteries which has cathode anode separator and electrolyte now the common ways a battery catches fire what are the common ways it could be the rupture of the solid electrolyte oxygen generating compound the dendrite during the charging now dendrites are thin hair like structures on the anode due to overcharging what happens is a lot lot of lithium piles up onto the graphite and that is enough to separate the uh, cathode from the uh, separator and this could lead to a short circuit the battery management system is faulty the next is big pharma companies are making a huge amount for example comirnaty uh, is one of the drugs which is uh, being sold by pfizer and has proved out to be highly uh, uh, highly uh, income generating for the pharma companies there are numerous cancer uh, drug makers who are on board so far and it is basically uh the idea of the union of international cancer control cancer control which is a global network works in collaboration for bringing affordability and availability of the cancer medicines under the atom atom is the access to oncology medicine and the countries who are part of it can use the voluntary licenses uh, by uicc the next is the rise in the uh, rise of the gram sabha so as we have seen on the 30th anniversary of panchayati raj uh, the idea is to uh, make sure Sure that under Gram Sabha, all eligible voters uh, are part of the Legislative Assembly. There is a legislation supervisor and executive powers. There are supervisors who implement the power. There is a bore well in the house. Uh, core decisions are taken into consideration. Union, state, local governments are there. Uh, part of the uh, constitutional amendment legal backing. The historical backdrop of the uh, Panchayati Raj system, where the Sarpanch Raj moved to Panchayati Raj system, and the last important one is the chill bill seats. Now, chill bill seats uh, seats are some of the common seats which are paper thin uh, wing seats of the Indian elm, commonly seen in April across the region. The cover is broken and the inner portion is taken. It is also known as bandar bati, bandar ki roti, or bread for monkeys. Now, this has uh, uh, numerous benefits. Uh, to break the seed coat and then get the seeds, uh, these seeds are sold for 100 rupees per kg. Now, chirpivala in Sanskrit, as it is called as, is used for traditional me medicines for stomach diseases, reducing the swelling for treatment of ringworms. Uh, and it is also known to have various uh, properties, uh, various nutrients like phosphorus, potassium, calcium, magnesium, sulfur, copper, iron and zinc. And it contains 50% of the oil seeds. Also, uh, the 50% of the seed is actually oil. It is drought resistant, easy to grow and can be a huge promotion in the areas where loamy or gravel subsoils are found. So those are some of the important things that we need to take into account. Sesame seeds has seen a very high significant rise. Also pulses, moong, uh, the revised MSP, Tuar and uh, others have again a revised MSP. India has ranked 121 on the Global Sustainable Report and that is one of the challenges where we are facing uh, problems with 11 of the 17 sustainable go uh, development goals and uh, those are some of the important topics that we have covered in this lecture so stay tuned for updates from our side we do cover yojana kurukshetra down to earth and um, the on a regular basis so yojana and kurukshetra every monthly and down to earth every fortnightly if you have any questions feel free to post those in the comment section and a lot of practice material for your UPSC preparation is available on the links below. Practice well. The handouts for this lecture are available on examrace.com. Have a wonderful day ahead.